Um, okay, let's change that around. Do you have room? Uh, kinda. Do you have HP yellow? Uh, no. Can you get HP yellow? Yeah. Okay. Get uh, flat HP yellows and five CDR blues. Flat CDR. And then for your quints, get uh, two armor, one AP. Oh my god, this is a lot of AP. That is how you play. Okay, and for mastery, on the middle tree, do you run the CDR cap or the magic pen one? Um, it depends, but for me, I like the CDR ones usually. Okay. Alright, you ready to I go? Think I think we're ready. Okay. Alright, so Bard is a pretty lane dominant support. Uh, usually you'd want to take Ignite on him so you can okay. kill people in lane, but if they have assassins on the other team, that's when you take Exhaust. And uh, really important that you get bush control up until you're uh, level 4. That's when you take Tunnel usually. Unless uh, they have a level, like a 3 minute ganking jungler like Rex mm -hmm. guy. Okay. Yeah. Bard Lucian is a very strong lane, but they can get shit on by um, quite a few other lanes, such as Jin Karma. Jin Karma is just so strong. I hate MF right now. Oh, really? How come? I don't know. She just seems like such a lane bully right now. Yeah, she's pretty strong. And the fact that that bounce is like 400 damage at level 2. Yeah, you just need to position properly versus that. Alright, what did you say you wanted to do? Okay, I just... My laning phase? Absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. So, basically... That's pretty much it. And what did you want to do with the shot calling thing? Oh, we don't have to do anything. I'll be fine. Oh, alright. Yeah, laning is a uh, pretty important thing to learn if you want to go into support because usually support is the one who leads the lane early. Um, when you're looking at minions, the creeps on the edges are your best friend. That's what you're going to use to stun people. Okay. So you gotta always be aware of the side, like the ends of the creep waves and just keep an eye on when you can pressure. Bard's auto attack is really important. Whenever you have your meep up, your bard passive, you just go in for an auto. And that insta proc spell thieves twice. So it's really strong. On the bright side, I think I have the portal down from the base. Okay. There's a really easy, like, uh, you'll get it 100% of the time if I teach you. How to Don't you like, portal properly. like line it up with the inhib? Maybe? I'll teach you an even easier, super straightforward way. Okay. Yeah, that portal is pretty important. You get from fountain to base, or to lane like five seconds quicker. May not seem that significant, but it's really good.
Alright, it looks like we're laning against Tom Kench Jinx. We can bully this lane really hard. Do we have kill pressure? Yes, we do. Okay. Just keep poking the Jinx and make the Tom Kench eater. So you waste mana. Mm -hmm. So if you want a portal, you stand on this patch of grass. I, I'm, not, I'm obviously not starting game. Yeah, I'm just... I know. And uh, you just click here. That's it? Yep. You get it 100% of the time. Every time. Even if you're like, uh, having to shop super fast and do it. Uh, if you want to get portal for your AD, you want a portal first before you buy anything, because usually AD carry buys their items super quick and starts walking yeah. down. So if you base at the same time, you just portal first. Oh, I also need help with buys, like item build. When to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, you usually want to get locket first every item, and then crucible, and then frozen heart, and then the last item can be whatever GA, uh, Zizarot. Whatever. Oh look. We have a backseat coach. Cool. Not bad. Back Wow, thanks Graves. Okay. We're gonna push to level two. You mean to auto the back ones? Yeah. You want to stay tethered to your AD carry, so if I move up, you move up. If I move back, you move back. There's never a time where you're so far in front that you get hit by both of them. Yeah. So keep an eye on those side creeps. Uh, don't let yourself get low. You should be popping your potion right now. Okay. Always want to stay above half. So if we fight, good stun. Short trades. Back up, back up. We got the exhaust. Good job. Notice what he did there, he walked too far up <laughs> without uh, his AD being able to fall up. That's what you never yeah. want to do. Especially in that creep wave. Yeah. Help me, Shav. Yeah, that. Did you take tunnel third or here? Yeah, yep. You took tunnel? I did that. Yep, so I can try this. Uh, I have 500. Should I prioritize a Ruby, Ruby crystal? Ruby and Pink Ward and Pot. Two pots? Yep. Okay, let's 
through this portal. There you go, see? Every time. Not bad. How much should I prioritize trying? Not that much. Only get it for mana. Every time you get a chime, it's about... It's about, uh, 1 W. Watch out, too many creeps. Okay, I'm gonna thin out the creeps a bit. Okay. They don't have flash. It's like you get a stun. Nice. Good job. Okay, you can play uh, into that bush. And zone them. Just your presence in a bush is really strong. Even if they see you. Pretty significant health advantage on them right now, which is really good. Should I think river? Yes. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is every time you base, you wanna go mid and ward for them. If there's an opportunity for you to gank, then you go for it. But Their jungler may look to come down here. I think they're back. Yeah, can you go check? Okay, I'm just gonna slow push it if they aren't facing it and deny them. Take the stang. Okay. I'm slow pushing right now. I'm probably gonna look to reset after this wave. Okay, we can win a fight even if their jungler comes. Yeah, okay, their jungler's coming now. We can fight, we can fight. I blocked. Nice, done. Yeah, that was my bad, I stepped up. It's all good. Sight's done, boots, another pink ward. I still have 300 gold. Uh, that's Should okay, I just... just save it. <laughs> 